Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Keen Dodge. So we are in Jarrettsville, Maryland at a Dodge dealer. Um, Keen Dodge, we're here because there's one truck in particular I wanted to drive and it is this one right here. This is a th uh, one ton truck with the Cummins with a high output with the Ace and transmission. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Keen Dodge. So we are in Jarrettsville, Maryland at a Dodge dealer. Um, Keen Dodge, we are here because there's one truck in particular I wanted to drive and it is this one right here. This is a th uh, one ton truck with the Cummins with a high output with the Ace and transmission. So as you guys know, we're looking to upgrade or just kind of change a pace from our 2012 fourth gen Cummins. We looked at the Ford, we looked at the Chevy. It's time to look at what we know, the Cummins. So I already tested over the truck and kind of looked over the truck. Um, the reason we wanted to look at this is because I've been comparing kind of the lower high grade, if you will, trucks, the Laramie, the Lariat, the, um, whatever the Chevy one was, but basically the lowest model you can get with leather. That's kind of our ballpark. That's kind of what we already had in that six, seven Cummins right there. And that's just, just kind of the area of the truck that I want. So they had what we want. As you guys know, I'm kind of looking for a one ton. They were the only people in the area to have it. This truck is actually a 2019, but as far as I know, they really didn't change much between 2020 and 2019. I know if you get a long wheelbase truck, that you can uh, get like a 50 gallon fuel tank, which is pretty cool if you're gonna be going all over the country. Now, you guys know I am a Dodge guy, I'm a Cummins guy. This is kind of why I saved this for last. I wanted to see how it was and all that. So I'll throw some footage up as I talk and we'll go over the truck and all that. So w once again, it is, this is the one we drove. So once again, it is a 2019, called a fifth gen ram called a fourth gen and a half whatever everybody's calling them these days i think i decided that they are a fifth gen and after being inside of it it absolutely is a whole different truck even though from the fenders back is the same truck that we currently have but the front end's different this thing is so quiet if you look under the hood really it's kind of a similar look to what we are used to under the hood with the cummins engine um i would have to say between the ford the chevy and the dodge well ram the cummins engine is the quietest inside and out feel like it had less noise than all the rest um yeah I, I, there's not much to say it's quiet um it's even quieter than r12 which is now back to stock r12 actually i feel is quieter than the chevy um but not quite as quiet as the 67 um power strip so onto the truck the exterior we won't even go into the back of it too much pretty much it's just a different set of tail lights and some cameras but the front end of these things um i'm not much for the chrome package as you guys know i like the painted look but that's the beautiful thing about the rams there's so many options like this blue truck this is a beautiful looking truck um now this has like the sport appearance group but there's also like a night one where it blacks everything out. Like these trucks over here, these are two gas trucks, but as you can see, these black trucks are just murdered out, looking killer. But you can get that, um, like the inner grill and the black uh, wheels and the black headlights on a truck like this with the paint match, which is beautiful. I love it. Um, 
that's something that the Ram trucks have always kind of shined in my eye um, where you could get that now back in 12 we couldn't we had to do that ourselves get the grill and the bumpers all painted so that's kind of the exterior of the truck the um, engine of the truck onto the interior the interior of these trucks is absolutely phenomenal um it's amazing the updates they made um the seats are a uh, leather with like a little bit of like a cloth or velour in there comfortable wonderful seats um the center console is humongous if you can't find storage in this center console i i don't know what you're you're looking for i mean you could you could put a ton of stuff in there you can customize it it's got the top portion the bottom portion the cup holders can slide forward and back you can pretty much do anything you want with that center console um but the dash the dash is absolutely amazing by far the laramie is the best interior truck of these heavy duty trucks uh it's just absolutely gorgeous and i'm trying to give you guys un unbiased reviews of everything and you'll see that here coming up but this this interior blows everybody else away and the infotainment screen um this like 10 or 12 inch screen in these trucks is phenomenal you can customize it, you can move buttons around you can put the maps up high maps down low all that um it's 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 amazing it is absolutely amazing um the fact the chevy and the ford don't have something similar to this yet kind of boggles my mind that they didn't see it in the 19 rams and then try and get it in the 20s of their trucks but i have a feeling that they're going to be getting these kind of screens here coming uh soon because it just blows everybody else's infotainment screen out of the water it's kind of a little much at first but i can appreciate the fact that there's still buttons and the screen you got your navigation all that kind of stuff it's fantastic um looking at your dash your cluster it has all the information you come to expect um once again these interiors on these trucks is gorgeous it's phenomenal um not much else to say so guys that's kind of the interior of the truck like i said i really couldn't get like good video of me talking and while i'm doing that the sales lady she just kind of was um up up close and all that and it just wasn't working she called it a cummings i mean okay that should tell you enough so anyway guys on to the drive driving the truck once again quieter than the ford quieter than the chevy Yeah, I, 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 wanted, I wanted to check out a, a newer Laramie truck that was 3500 with the ASIN transmission sure. with the high output motor and then check out this, this screen to see if it was... What it says it is. Yeah, you know. People love it. But I mean the interior of this truck is fantastic. It drives fantastic. The only thing I don't I noticed so far is I just don't I don't care for how the transmission shifts. Oh, okay. wise I feel the F350 rode better um, and I think the Chevy did too I think this was the worst riding of the trucks unfortunately we weren't able to drive a truck with the air suspension in the rear um, I'm sure that would have helped things out but either way this standard 3500 I think had the roughest ride of the three other than that normal driving it was just like being in Caitlin um, the truck drove great it was fine like I said nice and quiet now the downfall of the truck and what I think you guys all know where I'm going with this. This truck has the ASIN. This truck has the ASIN transmission and let me just tell you, I don't like it. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm trying to be unbiased here. It 
doesn't shift all that great. It kind of feels like it's hunting a little bit, and it's a little all over the place. I think that truck, even with a stock 68, shifts a little better. Um, I didn't drive a truck with the newer 68 because I just I wanted to go for the one ton with the 1,000 foot-pounds. Um, the six-speed, after driving those 10-speed trucks, it's, you know what? Chrysler, you gotta get with the times. Um, those 10 speeds are amazing. Um, once you, you know, after the first two or three gears, you don't feel it shift anymore. This thing, every time it shifts, you feel it. You kind of feel it like hesitate. Um, it starts lugging in sixth, like has always been a problem with these things. Needless to say, I don't like the fact that this thing still has a six speed transmission. Are they gonna put an eight or a 10 in it? They kind of have to at some point, but that is the big downfall of this truck. Um, as far as get up and go, I want to say it was right there with the Chevrolet, um, with the L5P. It, if anything, it might have been even a little slow, a little more sluggish than that. But it, uh, it's in the ballpark of that. It didn't have the get up and go that the F350 had. The F350 definitely had more get up and go. So, guys, that's kind of my little review of the fifth gen. Um, like I said, tried to give you a little bit of an unbiased review. You guys know I am I am a Dodge slash Cummins guy. I love these, these engines. Um, these engines are a little bit different with the new CGI block, uh, the CP4 injection pump, and all that. Um, also, I'm, I'm sorry for not being able to kind of do this while we're uh, going through the truck, just but it, this didn't work out. Didn't call ahead or anything like that. We just kind of showed up and drove a truck. But like I said, now looks wise, it's definitely all the Ram. Um, when you get these painted, painted trucks, and especially if you get a night edition, they are by far the better looking trucks in my opinion. I, I like the aesthetics of the Ram. I like the engine. Don't really care for the uh, transmission and the interior blows everybody else away. So really each brand has its own little ups and downs as far as these trucks go but uh yeah so that is the new hd ram it's not a 2020 it was 2019 but they're pretty much the same truck so comment down below what you guys think let me know your experiences between the three brands um it definitely felt good to get out and drive everything um now it's decision time try and figure out what we want to do what we want to go with um definitely between a couple things here i haven't made a firm decision you guys know like i said i am a, a cummins dodge guy always have been always will be but that doesn't mean we can't change it up a little now and again but anyway guys so that's the three trucks comment down below i hope you guys enjoyed um let me know if you want me to check something else out i will try to but yeah the options on these trucks are fantastic and that interior wow that interior is awesome so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed please like the video subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys on the next one get out in your garage get the wrenching on your truck